Geology on Mars, Lesson 3.1, Evaluating New Information from Mars. Activity 3, New Information About the Channel on Mars. Here is what your student screen looks like for this part of the lesson. NASA has shared new information with the Universal Space Agency, and the agency has asked us to assess whether this new evidence supports one of the claims about the channel on Mars. This is real data about Mars that was gathered by instruments on spacecraft orbiting Mars. New information from NASA about the channel. Elevation of the land at the channel location. The NASA team collected information about the elevation of the land where the channel on Mars is located. This image shows that the top of the channel is at a higher elevation than the bottom and that the channel is on a steep slope. The bottom of the channel is also more flat. In this image, higher elevations are indicated by the red color and lower elevations are indicated by the yellow and blue colors. What do you observe about the image? NASA found that the channel on Mars is on a downhill slope. They also found that at the base of the channel, near where the Curiosity rover landed, there is a triangle-shaped landform. You will work together in pairs to analyze the new NASA evidence that focuses on the triangle-shaped landform. You will examine close-up images of the area near the channel and learn more about what the rover found. The image you're about to see is the same image of the channel we've been looking at, but it is zoomed in on the area at the base of the channel. Triangle-shaped landform on Mars. NASA scientists found a triangle-shaped landform at the bottom of the channel on Mars. Based on information gathered from satellites in the Curiosity rover, scientists believe this triangle-shaped landform is made of a different type of rock than the rock around it. You will also get some background information that will help you make comparisons between landforms at the base of the channel on Mars and landforms at the bases of channels on Earth formed by flowing lava and flowing water. Remember, we can compare Mars and Earth because they are both rocky planets with similar systems, so similar landforms suggest similar processes on the two planets. Background information. Triangle-shaped landforms. Triangle-shaped landforms on Earth at channels formed by water. Alaska, United States. When water flows down a steep slope onto a flat area, the water carries small pieces of rock called sediment. As the water reaches the flat area, it spreads out and deposits the sediment in a triangle-shaped area. Over time, the different pieces of sediment are pressed and cemented together to form solid rock. The triangle-shaped solid rock that forms over time is called an alluvial fan. Triangle-shaped landforms on Earth at channels formed by lava. Awadi Prefecture, Japan. Flowing lava can form triangle-shaped landforms at the end of a channel. These landforms are made of rock that forms when lava cools. The rock that makes up these landforms is often black in color because it is made of cooled lava. You'll use the background information to help you sense, make sense of the data on evidence card E. Evidence card E and background information, triangle-shaped landform card, is in the materials folder for the lesson. You'll record information about channels on Mars and Earth. After comparing the landforms, you'll select which claim and evidence best supports and explain your thinking. Notice where you will record information about the channel on Mars and where you will record information about the channels on Earth. Examine the evidence and record your ideas. Let's consider evidence card E. How convincing is the new evidence in relation to the evidence we already placed on the evidence gradient? Scientists use background information like this to help them interpret evidence. Placing the information about how triangle-shaped landforms are formed on Earth near the evidence on the evidence gradient helps, us remind, helps remind us about how to interpret this important evidence. Do you think the new evidence supports the flowing water claim or the flowing lava claim? It is okay if you're unsure about your ideas at this point. You don't need to be confident in your answer since you don't have all the information yet. Evidence card E could support either claim. You will have more time to think about which claim each, of the, each piece of evidence supports in the next section. End of activity. Be sure to complete all your student work in Amplify for this activity before moving on. End of lesson.